Now, Spirit Sunday aims to showcase Mzansi's talent. And when the talent have got it hard, even better. A case in point is the Gugule to tenors. This Afro-operatic pop sensation group have become a household name in South Africa since the release of their self-titled debut album in 2011. Their journey to success, which started more than 10 years ago as four high school learners' respective dreams of being on stage, has been wildly publicized and serves as an inspiration to many. Let's meet them now. Hi, my name is Bendu Loyao. Hi, my name is Loiso Dova. Molueni, Dungukola in November. Hi, my name is Siabulela Kohan. And together we are the Kukule to Tenors. In Gooks, there's uh, different ways of uh, living uh, the lives because of uh, people are inspired uh, by te televisions and something that happens in, uh, around them as well. So it's up to you to choose what you want to be. So uh, we chose to go to church when we were young and uh, we, we had our peers uh, liking quite some music, hip hop, but we then decided to choose something different. Growing up in Kuguletu is not a very easy thing. Because, you know, Kuguletu is known as a place of gangsterism. You know the key flats about gangsterism and drugs. Sometimes there were taxi violence, whereby it's very difficult for us to go to school because the school that I was into when I was young is next to a taxi rank. Our elders have to keep us always, you must be in the yard because too much violence, you might get caught up sometimes. In the school, there was gangsters, so we thought no we can't join gangsters because that will end our lives very quickly and then yeah. Going uh, to church from a young age helped us a lot uh, through the way because there were obstacles and difficulties and uh, but uh, we knew that there was God who's looking after us and uh, there's a light that is there that will shine on us one day so we kept on having that faith. In 1999, there was a vocal search competition that was held at uh, Joseph Stone Athlone here in Western Cape, of which all the school's learners were, were called to enter the competition. So uh, we then, uh, me and my friends, we were going to sing in solos, but we then decided, no, there's no way we can compete against one another. Let's just join powers. And uh, by doing that, we won the competition. And uh, since then, we never looked back. As the youngest member of the 49ers, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a good experience for me because as a young musician, you need to gain more experience in terms of getting into the music industry. So the guys came to me and asked me to come and join the group. So I was kind of used to the music and it was a privilege for me to come and join the group. It's a very beautiful feeling to sing as a group, also like to see the fans um, cheering for you, old and young, black and white, even any, any race. So it's a very good feeling for us, especially when you do something that you love. As a group, we, we rehearse a lot because yeah, we need to be fit for each and every performance that we go to. Uh, it keeps us mentally fit as well because uh, we need to keep practicing and practicing so that we, we, are, we, we can be uh, fit for the stage. We will argue at some times, but then there is this one person that we fear, of which is God. So with his spirit, he makes our spirit in one. So everything goes in harmony because if we argue, we then refer to, to, to our Lord, the Almighty. Then he tells us, he normally tells us what to do because uh, it's already been said, it's already been there. So we just live in harmony. So it is difficult. But for us, we we like brothers. We I cannot say we, we are friends because when we're together, we feel each other. You see, you tell you tell everything like that's that's in your heart, yeah, with honesty. It was an honor for us to meet the fabulous woman, Oprah Winfrey. 
that was in Sun City, there was a party there and we got an opportunity to meet also some other celebrities, some uh, like uh, Maria Carey and uh, also participating in the World Cup in 2010. We sang for about uh, 25,000 people in front of us. Most of the people in the world saw what we can do. So for us, it's, it's something, it's, it's a privilege to us, yeah. My advice to the youth is for them to stay determined and the, they must work very hard if they want to achieve whatever they want to achieve in life. And the respect is the very good aspect to, to each and everything that you do. Friend-wise, they must choose who they go with. They must keep themselves with a very good company, not just with anyone, otherwise they'll end up in jail. In whatever you do, you must uh, persevere and you must humble yourself and uh, the Almighty will lift you up. And there will be difficulties, it won't be easy like the other people. So you must just persevere and uh, have the faith in the Almighty and uh, also whatever you believe in. My message for the youth, choral music and opera, there is life in that because we started doing choral music since we were young. So till now, um, we see our road, um, we, we see ourselves growing and growing every day. <laughs>